Hello guys and welcome to another game devlog video. A lot has happened during the past month, but I will talk about it at the end of the video. Now let's focus on the game. I figured out that weapon switching with the scroll wheel is very clumsy. So I came up with a UI weapon select wheel, which is not really a wheel yet, but it will get there sometime. Then I assigned weapons to each button and it's working just fine. <laughs> yeah, you thought I would make something that works as intended. Oh, please. Thankfully, fixing the broken arm wasn't such a big deal. Okay, now as you can see, everything is working. You can select each weapon by clicking the appropriate button. This will help you manage your weapons during more fast-paced gameplay. That will hopefully come. It's a lot less clumsy than scrolling with the mouse wheel. To give the player more time to choose a weapon, I added... Of course you are not able to shoot during the actual slow motion, but it just looked cool. Anyway, as the fourth weapon I decided to make a flamethrower, and this time encountering no bugs at all. Okay, maybe some minor ones. As frustrating as it is, running into these random bugs can be fun at times. So as usually, I just played with it for another half an hour. Looks pretty cool to be honest. Oh wait, this reminds me of someone. Eventually I fixed it and it looks pretty cool. Except it does not deal any damage yet. Also, if you haven't noticed, I changed the main camera a bit. This made the jittery movement go away. Once again, when everything seemed alright, I noticed that the crosshair which I just added is a bit off-centered. This is either because Galadar himself is not aiming where he is supposed to, or because I coded it wrong. Since it is not a huge deal right now, I'll just move on and add collisions to the flame particles. I stumbled upon a video showing the power of high-definition render pipeline. And since I am stupid and want to break everything I have worked on so far, I decided to upgrade my project to HDRP. I did this mostly because I want to use the VFX graph. I will post a link in the description if you don't know what that is. Yes, I know what you are thinking. I ruined the game. You are right, but at least I fixed the flamethrower. I followed the documentation once again and I got better results, except now it looks like Galadari got busted by the cops. I figured out there was a problem with the environment lighting and this is my attempt at fixing it. Thankfully the second trial looks a bit nicer. Okay, so thankfully after going interstellar, I fixed the values and could move on. I sketched a simple level layout that I will be working on. And since that takes a lot of time, I will end the video here for now. I promised my sub that I would show you the new puppy I mentioned last time, but sadly she got sick and the vet did not treat her properly, so sadly she is no longer here. I'm very sad and pissed because she could have been treated sooner and there is nothing I can do anymore. Sorry that I ended on such a sad note. 
Also, I'm exactly in the middle of my first semester of computer science, which means I will eventually make videos you requested, except a bit later because of the lack of time. And finally, I would like to thank all of you for watching and subscribing. It really helps me keep my motivation. And I will definitely make a giveaway at, let's say, 100 subscribers. I think that's a nice milestone. Once again, thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one.